Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Craft Away Survival. Hello, how are you all doing today? Hope you're all well, hope you're all good. Hope everybody's doing well today. So, today's episode is going to be a bit of a run around, and also we're going to put another head on the monument. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually going to make another head for our Mount Hermit Moor uh, area. So uh, we will uh, be doing that today, which is all good. So uh, let us get on with it, shall we, ladies and gentlemen. But first of all, I'm sick of only having ender chests where there are ender chests. So I am going to make myself an ender chest. So let's go get this going shall we there we go there's a there's a traveling ender chest for myself um <clears throat> also today we will be going to see a one sweeney dunstan uh we will be leaving him a little gift and for that i need this box here and this box here so let's put these down for a minute because I went mining. Look at all the all the goodies I got. Diamonds, 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 and lapis, 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 and a few emeralds. Right, so I'm going to make Mr. Dunstan a diamond pick. So there we go, there's a diamond pick for him. Um, I'm going to take these diamonds with me because we are going to visit Mr. Sunfire SG's shop. As well, why we're uh, in Spawn Town. Let's just put some of this other stuff away. And let's equip our armor and our Elytra. I need to fix uh, my pickaxe as well at some point. So, yes. Right, let's pick up that because that's for today's episode. And let's go over there. And as you can tell, we are in my house. It's my, uh, that was my little workroom. Hello, Craftaways, awesome chicken. How are you doing? Hope you're good. Right, let's go. Uh, right, yes, we're going to go to the pumpkin shop. Because I've seen other Craftaways uh, using this pumpkin shop. So I'm going to go and have a look because they've been getting some very, very good stuff off of it so I'm going to have a look at it myself and see if I can get something good there it is Let's see if I can get some uh, maybe some shulker boxes uh, or something of that uh, dimension right have a look it looks very good actually in my texture pack I do like the look of it looks good trick or treat right, let's have a look so it says throw a diamond at the jack-o-lantern only throw one diamond and wait for a prize okie dokie let's have a look shall we uh, let's put this this I'm going to put all my items apart from the diamonds up there because apparently everything comes into this one first so um, let's aim it there oh we got a pumpkin we got an elytra we got a diamond block two diamond blocks uh, iron block redstone block another, an emerald block Another pumpkin, a lapis block, redstone block, iron, another emerald, more lapis. Ah, let's leave some more for the other guys, shall we? But we got quite a good, uh, quite a good little haul from that, to be honest. If I do say so myself. So let us put the diamonds and stuff away. Um, right, we need 
What's this got on it? Oh, it's got a, it's got mending and unbreaking for it. That's better than mine. That I've only got unbreaking one, so I think I'll take that to get fixed. That's for shiznel. Right, so uh, let's put everything back on our bar. Got a couple of jackal lanterns as well. I can put them around my base, add to the, uh, the kind of atmosphere of things to come for uh, Halloween and such. Right, let's get my food. There we go. That should be good enough. And we'll put my bucket there as well. And this ender chest. There we go. Right, so I need to pick up my box. And what we'll do is we'll put the blocks in there for now, like so. We'll put this away as well, and that we'll keep them for now. So let's go to Mr. Dunstan's uh, residence, or where he's kind of set up a production area for now. Let's go over and see Mr. Dunstan, Mr. Sweeney Dunstan, and give him a an official craft away welcome from Shadow Cell. So, yes. Let's head over there. I hope, uh, I hope Sunfire uh, puts more stuff in that, that little trick or treat thing. Because that's quite interesting. Oh, yeah, this is. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, looks like uh, looks like our friend Conniption Fit's been busy with his uh, lovely new Nether Hub Mini Hub thing. It's looking quite dapper, if I do say so myself. So yeah, not bad at all. Right, so. I'm going to go to Mr. Dunstan's and then we shall go to um, the Blaze Farm and then we'll go to the back to uh, Mount Hermit Moor and do the next face of the uh... oh Dunstopia nice we'll do the next face of Mount Hermit Moor so uh... Yeah, I'll see you all in a few seconds when I get to uh, Sweeney Dunstan's place. See you all later. Oi. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and we're back. So we're at Sweeney Dunstan's little kind of uh, workshop area. And I'm going to leave him a little gift from me. So uh, let's just double look around because I heard ghasts then. But yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to... I hate ghasts, they do my tree in. Right, let's just stand here so we're hidden for a minute while I grab my box. And let's uh, let's plonk it down here for the moment. And grab all the stuff we need. So we need that, that, uh, this, this, this. So, let's uh, put chest down for him. And we'll do this straight in the middle. We'll do a silk touch here, silk touch there, mending, and the mending. And we'll give him the pumpkins because we're nice. There we go. And some bread. Let's. Uh, Split this, put that there like so. There we go. Right, where's them signs? Right. Crouch. Um, welcome to the serve server from oh wrong
one then. From Shadow. Shadow cell. There we go. That's what we'll leave there for Mr. Dunstan. So let's grab this. There we go. Right. So that's left there for Mr. Dunstan. We've left him a diamond pickaxe, some bread, uh, two mending books, and two silk touch books and a jackal lantern so there we go right i am going to head to the blaze farm now so i will see you over at the blaze farm in a couple of minutes see y'all there bye okay ladies and gentlemen welcome back we are here at the uh the blaze spawner I'm going to try to fix this Elytra we got from uh, our good friend, Mr. Uh, Sunfire. Hopefully I can fix it. There was an accident. I glided straight into the uh, thing above. A ghast uh, took me out and I lost my ender chest, from what I can tell. And yeah, there we go. It's fixed. Nice. So now let's fix my pickaxe. And we can leave then. And I need to make a new ender chest because I lost that one, basically. And I think I, um, I lost my helmet. But I don't think I lost anything else because I've got my, um, my box with today's episode stuff in here. So that's okay. And I've got my other elytra in my inventory, so yeah. Right, let's uh, get this pickaxe fixed. get this pickaxe fixed and then we'll be uh, heading off to do the, the last bit of the episode which will be uh, putting a new face on Mount Hermo oh yeah right so let's uh Let's give that a minute. I did lose a uh, nearly a full stack of rockets, but it's better than uh, what there is, so I'm not too bothered about that, to be honest. I can always find more and uh, more creepers to uh, attack. That's strange, that. Oh, I've done it again. Keep doing that. Knocking that one out. Let's get this elytra in because then that will heal as well. Is 
plus we could use the levels for uh, more uh, enchanting and stuff that we might do. I think that's the best we're going to get it at the moment, so we'll come back after anyway. I'll come back after and fix it myself. But let us head to my base. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just uh, cut it here. And when we come back, we'll be at Mount Hermit Moor, ready to do the next face on the Mount Hermit Moor monument so i will see you all at my base see you all there bye okay ladies and gentlemen we're back we're at mount hermit Moor now as you can see this is the head that we are going to well this is where we're going to put the new head on oh i didn't mean to drop that but yeah this is where we're going to put the new head uh on this one here so uh yeah let's uh Let's have a look, shall we? Um, I need to get my box with all my bits in. So let's do that quickly. Uh, okay. Where's my box with all my bits in? Please don't say I left it somewhere. There it is. I knew I had it somewhere. <laughs> I kind of got a bit worried there. Right, anyway, let's uh, have a look at the box. The box, the box. So, as you can see, it's a lot of black concrete, white concrete, uh, white terracotta, sorry. So let's pull all this into my inventory. And yeah, so let's get up there and make the face first. So, for those who uh, who know this character, he is quite a genius at the old redstone. So yeah, I like this new placing in front thing. It's a lot easier now. All right, you can just place in front of yourself now. So we're gonna make like a little platform here. So we can uh, do the face bit. Now I think for the rest we'll do a quick time lapse. But uh, let's see. I am going to do the face and then we'll clear out the inside with the time lapse and so on and so forth. So let's pull out these bottom blocks. for. So we've got a starting point at least. All right, so we need this. And then we need to do these. Like so, you'll see as 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 we get up to the kind of the mid face range where you'll know who it is, and then we need one of them either side, like so. This is where you'll start to uh, recognize it, hopefully. So let's have a look. Black concrete powder. So we need two of them on either side, like so. And then let's uh, let's get in the middle here. And then we need one like that, and that should give it away. That should give away who we are making today. So, if you don't know, then uh, you'll have to wait until the end of the episode, basically, to find out. But if you do know, put it in the comments, so that we know that you're watching. And we know who, who you are, and you know your hermits.
I believe this guy joined in like season three, maybe four. And uh, yeah, he's been one of the, the main staple hermits ever since, I believe. Alright. So then we've got that one there. That one there. We've got one there. One there. We got that, 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 and that. And then we need this one. We need the light grey one. So, light grey will go here and here, and here and here, like so. Then we fill in the rest with the uh, white terracotta. Because this part of the top will be all black. There we go. Then, I've got my bucket of water. I do got my bucket of water. So let's put my bucket of water in the slot there for uh, the next bit. So. this let's put these in like so there we go that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, bit of damage there. Never mind. So let's uh, let's have a look at our work so far, shall we? That's it. That's the front of his face. That is the Mister Mumbo Jumbo, the uh, man who gets terrorized by Bumbo cacti's. Let's just solidify his face a bit, shall we? And then we'll float down on his face. Like so again. Why can't I get the uh, the source block? There we go. Let's do that. All right, so that should be his face solidified. Right, ladies and gentlemen, quick time lapse to clear out the uh, the, the inside of the head. And then we will uh, time lapse the rest as well. So I hope we can get this down to a pretty good time. So it's a case of three, two, one. Let's get a shovel. Let's start that countdown again. Three, two, one, go. <laughs>
gentlemen that is the mumbo jumbo head put into the mountain i will finish off all the kind of tidying up and lighting up the inside of the head later but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this episode so uh yeah ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all for the next episode on uh, craft away so please like comment and subscribe and make sure you ding dong that bell because you won't know when my next episode is out if you don't all right then ladies and gentlemen i'll talk to y'all later adios bye